Okay, so we are going to do a quick tour of Save a Fox South since not everybody knows that it exists. Um, we're still kind of in our startup part of this, so it's a work in progress. But yeah, we have our Minnesota location and we have our Save a Fox South location. We are not intending to move, we just have two locations. So here's a quick tour. This is our Gray Fox yard that we will show you first. So we have our double gate system here and locks. Yes, yes. can't see. <laughs> All right, so we have two gray foxes in here, Callie and Demika, or sometimes called Dimka. So let's see if we can find them real quick. Keep recording, because I bet. I see him. You see him? Mm-hmm, just barely. Where? I don't see him. He is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> right. Down there. Oh, okay. All right. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Callie's probably in her box. Yep. Hi. There's Callie. Hi. We have our live stream camera up there so Hi, volunteers can watch. Hi. Did I spook you? I was just excited. We came running. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Callie. And right next to Callie. Silky. Silky. I love you. I love you. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Yeah. I love him. Okay. Oh, uh. You don't go over the head. You <laughs> go under. We'll edit that out. This is the progress on our agility course for the foxes. So this will be really good enrichment for them and give them something fun to do. The gray foxes and silky are in two of our eight fox yards that are right here. As you see, we still need to fill them up, but we are just kind of wanting to start slowly because we just got a new um, full-time employee and we don't want to throw too much on her at once. <laughs> it works! <laughs> this is Fozzie's cage, our sand fox. Uh, he spends most of his time in the house because he likes to terrorize us. That's his hobby. <laughs> this is our storage shed where we keep the tools and all the things I don't use. <laughs> I do the animal stuff. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> so for as many animals as we are able to keep on this 10 acre property, we are going to need a lot more storage space than what we have right here and over there, which we'll show you later. So we really need to raise money for a pole barn right here. So that would be awesome because basically we're going to need that before we completely fill up on animals because we'll need space to store the things for the animals. So this is our current storage shed. This is where we store um, animal food. We got the animal freezer and fridge. We got the human um, for the volunteers and stuff. And we have our locked medicine. And as you see, you know, it's a work in progress. So we have some other things, projects that are in the works. <laughs> yep, we're going to put that countertop right there. Nice little place for chore charts and folding laundry. Oh, this and... goes here? I yeah. thought this one in the sink area. No, no, it goes right here. Oh, well, we'll show the sink area. Yeah, we'll show that too. So this is where we do animal dishes, give animal baths. We're still going to wire this area in, so it makes it a lot safer when we do have to give an animal a bath. So, fundraising. <laughs> So this is the progress on our three quarantine pens. The purpose of quarantine pens is when we get a new animal intake, we don't want to immediately put the animal with other animals because we want to 
isolate them, take them to the vet, make sure they don't have anything that is contractible to other animals. And these will also be perfect for um, animals after surgery, like recovering from spays and neuters. So this is a progress of one of our animal yards. And then we also have a yurt that we will use for animal encounters. Um, that will be perfect when it's like raining and stuff like that. So when we give tours, people can still interact with animals. They will be air conditioned as well. They will be air conditioned as well. Yes. <laughs> So this is one of our other yurts and progress animal yards. And then over here is um, our reconstruction of our jackal yard. The last time I showed the jackal yard, um, the cage wasn't as big. So we're making a lot of different changes on the jackal yard before jackals go back in there. So over here, we are going to have a nice natural pond for animals to play in. This will be especially for mustelid rescues that are semi-aquatic like mink and otters. So we are really excited for this. We're hoping this gets in around December. So mm -hmm. yeah. Stay tuned for updates.